we are going to uh, start after a long break, uh, I have to very quickly uh, review uh, some comments that we have already uh, uh, covered in the class. Okay, is it okay? Everybody can hear me? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, thank you. Yes, sir. So, uh, today's topic uh, is uh, supply voltage scaling. Uh, part of this uh, have been already discussed, but uh, uh, I have to start uh, uh, again from the beginning. And uh, if you recall, then uh, we have already discussed about uh, the different sources of power dissipation, and uh, those were uh, dynamic power uh, different types of uh, basically power dissipation, dynamic power dissipation, short circuit power dissipation, and the static power dissipation. Static power dissipation is mainly because of uh, uh, the leakage currents that are observed in a mass transistor. A variety is uh, a number of uh, leakage current can uh, be uh, observed in a MOSFET device. That could be a junction leakage current or could be sub-threshold current, punch-through current or uh, gate leakage current because of uh, the direct tunneling of the carrier or uh, it could be because of the fowler NRDM tunneling or maybe because of the hot carrier injection in uh, ultra short devices. And, uh, uh, these uh, uh, all these uh, three components, direct tunneling and uh, this FN tunneling and uh, hard carrier injection, these uh, mechanisms give rise to the gate leakage current. So this uh, the total leakage current is sum of uh, because at the same time uh, more than one uh, current uh, leakage current can be possible. Uh, there could be junction leakage current at the same time there could also be substitute current. So we have to add all those uh, leakage current components in order to get the total leakage current. And once we uh, calculate the total leakage current, we can find out the total static power dissipation, which is uh, VDD multiplied by uh, I leakage. So another uh, uh, component of the power dissipation as we have already discussed is short circuit power dissipation and uh, uh, short circuit power dissipation is uh, basically uh, it will be observed when the input voltage is between uh, the VTHN to VDD plus uh, VTHP. Uh, when input voltage is above the VTHN, VTHN is the threshold voltage of the end transistor. So when the input voltage is uh, between this range, the two transistors will be on together and there will be path for the current flow from VDD to the ground. And uh, this will lead to uh, a short circuit power dissipation. The short circuit power dissipation, as we have already formulated this, turns out to be uh, 1 by uh, basically you have to check it k tau uh, f clock vdd minus 2 vth 2 to the power 3 where uh, k is basically equal to kn equal to kp which is mu cf w by l tau is uh, the rise time or fall time tau equal to tr or tf and uh, F clock is uh, the uh, clock frequency uh, at which the signal is changing at the input terminal. So this is uh, the another uh, uh, source of power dissipation, which is uh, the short circuit power dissipation. The third one is uh, dynamic power dissipation. And dynamic power dissipation, as we have already discussed, is uh, alpha times C L V D D square into F. Alpha is uh, switching activity, which is uh, defined as uh, limit uh, capital N 10 towards infinity, where N sub N, N, uh, N divided by capital N. NN is the number of uh, 0 to 1 transition at a uh, particular given node in total N number of uh, clock period. And F is again, this F is a clock frequency. We can also represent this by F clock. So, uh, summing these uh, three components, the total power uh, 
dissipation in VLSI circuit could be alpha CL VDD square into F clock, the dynamic power component, half of K tau F clock uh, VDD minus 2 VTS to the power 3, the short circuit power dissipation uh, uh, um, component, and VDD into summation I1 to N II is basically the static power dissipation component. So in uh, VLSI circuits, the uh, 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 as you can, if if you look uh, at this expression, you can see that uh, the VDD is very very important component, and it is directly influencing uh, all uh, the components of the total power dissipation. Whether it is uh, dynamic power dissipation, so it is related with uh, uh, proportional to VDD square. Here uh, in uh, short circuit power dissipation, uh, this VDD term is again there. And uh, in uh, static power dissipation, VDD is again here. So if we have to reduce, if we have to minimize the power dissipation, then we can, uh, uh, I mean, VDD can be an important parameter to uh, play with. We can scale down VDD, we can reduce VDD, and all these three uh, components uh, can be uh, minimized. So uh, uh, we'll talk about uh, these uh, uh, the different techniques of uh, uh, power uh, minimization, uh, power dissipation minimization. Uh, first, we'll concentrate on uh, uh, this dynamic power uh, reduction techniques. So dynamic power, as you see, that is proportional to alpha CL VDD square into F. So if if we uh, look at uh, this expression, we can very easily understand that uh, this power dynamic power can be minimized by uh, reducing either alpha cl vdd or f clock so we can uh, reduce the supply voltage to scale down uh, to reduce the dynamic power dissipation or we can reduce uh, even uh, alpha the switching activity the circuit can be designed properly to minimize the switching activity at a particular node so that will reduce this alpha CL, uh, the load capacitance can be minimized uh, again to minimize the dynamic power dissipation and F clock, the clock frequency can either be uh, reduced or uh, time period of the clock can be increased or uh, sometime in uh, some circuits if uh, in a bigger circuit if some particular subsections are not uh, functioning at the particular period of the time then we can also uh, stop the clock in uh, that particular domain so that uh, those circuits will uh, not unnecessarily uh, uh, leak power. So that is called uh, basically the clock getting. We'll be talking about that later on. So uh, from this expression, it's uh, uh, very, very, very much clear that for uh, minimizing the power dissipation, uh, supply voltage uh, uh, scaling is. Uh, very very important and because uh, this uh, power uh, dynamic power is uh, related with uh, uh, is, uh, with vdd uh, with uh, a square law relation as you can see here so uh, supply voltage scaling however uh, cannot be uh, done uh, 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 at any extent basically we have to uh, when we reduce the uh, supply voltage there are some undesirable effects also come in picture uh, uh, which is shown here. You can see that in this graph, uh, the delay, uh, normalized delay, in fact, is plotted with uh, the power supply voltage, and here the power dissipation is basically uh, here the power normalized power dissipation is plotted with respect to uh, supply voltage. So you can see that uh, with uh, uh, reducing uh, when uh, the supply voltage is reduced, uh, of course, the normalized power dissipation uh, is actually uh, power dissipation is reducing. But at the same time, with uh, uh, reducing supply voltage, you can see that the delay keeps on increasing. So uh, and uh, this delay increases. Hello. Is it this slide is not visible? Okay. Okay.
Did you switch off the video? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Slide is not visible. Okay. Okay. Sir, did you switch off the video? Okay. I am just uh, switching off. I'm just uh, uh, switching it off uh, and again uh, I will start this app. Yeah. I think some uh, technical problem is uh, coming at uh, from my side. Okay, sir. So, uh, all of you will join me. Okay.